Now students, please look at question number 10. Exercise 5.2, page number 106, question number 10. The 17th term of an AP exceeds its 10th term by 7. Find the common difference. In the question it is given, 17th term of an AP exceeds 10th term by 7. We are discussing question number 10. It is given 17th term. How we denote 17th term? A 17. Isn't it? 17th term of the AP exceeds 10th term by 7. Which means 17th term will be equal to 10th term plus 7. This is the meaning of the sentence. 17th term of the AP exceeds 10th term by 7. Okay, read the sentence repeatedly so that it will be easy for you to understand. 17th term of the AP exceeds 10th term by 7 means 17th A17 will be equal to along with 10th term we have to add 7. Okay, so now we know how to write A17. A17 how can we write? A plus 16D. Isn't it? That is A17. Now, A10 we can write it as A plus 9D plus 7. Isn't it students? Now, A on both sides we can get cancelled. We can cancel it. Now, 16D, 9D, this 9D we can take to the other side. So, it will become 16D minus 9D. That is equal to what? 7. Now, 16 minus 9, that is 7D equals to 7. Taking 7 to the other side, therefore, finally, D equal to 7 by 7, that is 1. Hope it is clear. Please take it to your notebook, students. So, the question is, what? Find the common difference. Here, the common difference D is? 1. Now, students, please look at your textbook. Question number 11. Which term of the AP 3, 15, 27, 39, etc. will be 132 more than its 54th term? Here, an AP is given. The given AP is question number 11. 3. 15, 27, 39, etc. The question is, which term of this AP will be 132 more than its 54th term? Which term of this AP will be 132 more than 54th term? So, first what we have to do here is, this is a very important question students. So, first we need to find 54th term of this AP. Okay. An AP is given and the question is, which term of this AP will be 132 more than its 54th term? So, first we will find 54th term of the AP. Okay, first we will find 54th term of the AP. Then, along with the 54th term, we will add 132. So, when we add 132 along with 54th term, finally we will have to find which term of the AP is that number, that particular number that we get after adding 132. Hope it is clear. Okay. So, the question here it is, an AP is given and which term of this AP will be 132 more than its 54th term. So, first we will find 54th term of this AP. Okay. So, for that 54 will be what? 54 will be N. We have to find 54th term of the AP. Which term of the AP will be? Uh, yeah, 54th term. Okay, so 54 will be N. Here A, 3. Common difference D, it is what? 15 minus 3, that is 12. And N, it is 54. Now, we will find 54th term, that is A N equal to A plus N minus 1 into d substituting these values 3 plus 
54 here n is 54 54 minus 1 into d it is what 12 isn't it that is 3 plus 53 into 12 that is equal to what 53 into 12 So we got it is what 636 so 3 plus 636 equal to uh, 639 isn't it okay now the question is what which term of this ap is 132 more than 54th term now we got 54th term it is 639 so therefore therefore 132 more than its 54th term 54th term will be equal to what 132 plus 639 isn't it so this here we will get 771 okay students now we got 132 more than 54th term what is that 771 now we need to finally find which term of this AP is 771. Okay. Now the question is reduced to find which term of this AP is 771. An AP is given and the question is which term of this AP is 771. Hope it is clear for you, isn't it? Now we have to find that. So for that, seven seventy one will become a n isn't it 771 will be taken as a n now we have to find which term of this a p is 771 okay so substituting this value again here in a n equal to a plus n minus 1 into d that is a plus n minus 1 here n is what n is what we need to find out isn't it n minus 1 into d that is 12 and a n it is already given that is 771 Okay, students now taking 3 to the other side it will become 771 minus 3 equal to n minus 1 into 12 okay so here 771 minus 3 it is what 768 okay that is what n minus 1 into 12 okay finally n minus 1 will be equal to what 768 by 12 768 when we divide by 12 we will get what 64 that is what n minus 1 okay finally therefore n equal to 64 plus 1 that is 65 hope it is clear okay so this question is very important students you need to practice a lot i'll give you a few more similar kind of questions here please take this to your notebook 